Hello, it's 9 p.m. and it's time to English news scene for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have uh, the fight against the clandestine water connections network in Valvela. Pyongyang continues to develop its nuclear weapon programs in North Korea. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the ONIAD uh, agents uh, proceeded uh, this morning to the dismantling of the clandestine networks of water connections uh, on the site of uh, Ummu Salama. They almost identified and blocked the water supply canals uh, for the inhabitants who obtained water illegally. Listen to this report. Proceeded this morning to the dismantling of the clandestine networks of water connections on the site of Ummu Salama. They almost identified and blocked the water supply channels for the inhabitants who obtained water illegally. Onyad agents have started to block all the illegal water supply channels for all those who do not have connection contracts and work against all kinds of incompatibilities. incompatibilities. This operation was led by the head of the commercial department, Mr. Yunus Awad, and will continue on all the sites of the city of Um Salama. The head of the commercial service of the Onead invited all the inhabitants to pay the connection price in order to legally consume the water of the Onead. In case of drifts in non-respect of these regulations, they will be punished and put at the disposal of justice. He also indicated that the connection continent has been reduced to 27,000 Djiburian francs miles for the ease of use. From now on, Onead will no longer tolerate these kinds of actions in their areas of the city of Um Salama. The first summer animation started yesterday in the late evening at the Palace of June 27 in front of the town hall with a strong participation of the population coming from the big suburbs and was animated uh, by the talented Djiboutian artists who set the mood throughout the evening at the Fad complex with some new songs and interpretation of old popular sang and new hits. Uh, the officials including the Minister of Women of Africa and the mayor of Djibouti, representative of sectoral ministries, uh, and the Olympic Committee took part in this session uh, electrified by the performance of Djiboutian artists and young talents, uh, and even presented by journalist Saada Ahmed, uh, which will take place during this month, is organized by the Secretary of State in collaboration with several ministries, in this case that of women and family, budget, Muslims after culture and property work, but that of communication in charge of postal communication, as well as the town hall, UNFD, the People's Palace, and RTD. These shows uh, allow the general public present to test the pleasure and dances to the rhythms of Djiboutian music. <laughs> They officially launched last weekend. Uh, the summer animation is continuing yesterday evening on the 27th June Square and in front of the King Fahad Complex. One activity is per uh, municipality. <laughs> Organized by the Secretary of State in collaboration with several ministries, uh, the Minister of Women and Family, the Minister of Budget, uh, Muslim Affairs and Muslim Cu Culture, Communication, and the Town Hall, the Minister of Women and Family, UNFD, People's Palace, uh, the Minister of Resources and Development, these shows uh, allow the general public to enjoy dance to the rhythm of Djiboutian music. <laughs>
The Minister of Labour in charge of administrative reforms in collaboration with the Executive Secretariat in charge of uh, administrative reform hosted last Monday in the large meeting room of INAP, a training workshop focused on learning spraying techniques uh, of administrative premises for public administration executives. Uh, the, secretary, uh, the secretary in charge of the reform, Hamad Awali, first highlighted the need to sensitize public administration officials on the danger of this scourge that has decimated thousands of people in the world. Also, the objective of this workshop was to advance the knowledge of participants on the observance of instructions prescribed by doctors in the purpose, he added. Uh, on the occasion of the celebrations of Eid al-Adha, Djibouti al Page, one of the leaders of social networks organized contests dedicated to honor the winners of the first sessions of cultural contests organized by Djibouti al via Facebook at Boadi Mall. This uh, event, financed by South Africa Bank and Group Basel Establishment Deco, took place in the presence of the Director General Director of Djibouti al Hassan Ibrahim Abdullahi, the Director of Saba Africa Bank Branch Tika 12, Mr. Omar Abdullah Omar, the Director of Saba African Bank Branch Tika 13, Mohammed Farah Miad, the representative of his sponsors and many participants in his speech, the Director of Page, Mr. Hassan Ibrahim Abdullah, praised the finance uh, for these occasions, including Bank Saba African and the company. Diko, Mr. Hassan Ibrahim, uh, congratulates uh, and extend his warm congratulations and sincere congratulations to the people of Djibouti, wishing them more prosperity and progress for the President of the Republic and the First Lady. The National uh, Red Crescent Society of Djibouti has organized the distributions of Eid al Adha meat to vulnerable families in the five regions. The primary objective of this uh, distribution is to enable poor households living in the Hill region to benefit from this assistance in this period of joy and collective communion. In fact, some 18 vulnerable households benefit from uh, these distributions in the Hill region, which was carried out uh, simultaneously in the four other regions of the country. Distribution takes place uh, every year. At the same period, the Djibouti Red Crescent Society carried out these distributions with the financial support of the Kuwait Red Crescent Society. The beneficiary communities have uh, not failed to thank the uh, Djibouti Red Crescent Society. As part uh, of the activity of the project training and young people for entrepreneurship forges, the Djibouti Development Agency launched the activities of making contact. More detail in this video. The Minister of National Education and Vocational Training said he was uh, particularly saddened uh, and dismayed to learn uh, the, this Tuesday, this morning, uh, the brutal death of Ms. Uh, Nagwa Hussein Elmi, director of the Hill Tree Basic School. The deceased was the victim of a traffic accident on the road while she was uh, on her way with her colleagues to a working meeting in Djibouti. The minister who greeted in memory of the deceased a serious uh, pedagogical leader's devote to her work as an educator and a woman of great human quality. The ministry addressed his most sadness and sincere condolence to his families, his colleagues, and the entire educational family mourning this sudden death. Uh, the deceased lived uh, behind her, a widow, and three children. In for the international scene, Pyongyang continues to develop its nuclear weapon program according to the UN report. Listen to Din Musa. North Korea continues to develop its nuclear weapons program and several countries believe it has probably developed miniaturized nuclear devices that fit the warheads of its ballistic missiles, according to a confidential UN report. 
according to the report which was prepared by an independent panel of experts charged with monitoring compliance with UN sections. These countries, whose identities are not specified, believe that Pyongyang's last nuclear tests probably helped its develop miniaturized nuclear devices. North Korea has not conducted a nuclear test since September 2017. The preliminary report was submitted on Monday to the Security Council's Committee on Sanctions Against North Korea. The document states that North Korea is pursuing its nuclear program, including the production of highly enriched uranium and the construction of a light water experimental reactor. No immediate comments could be obtained from the North Korea diplomatic mission to the UN. Hurricane Isaias reached North Carolina in the United States. More detail with the news. Tropical storm Isis became a hurricane again on the evening on Monday across three and struck North Carolina. The Category 1 storm is accompanied by winds of up to 140 km per hour, announced the American National Hurricane Center. Military personnel have been deployed to North Carolina, a state on the Atlantic coast of the United States, to help prepare for the storm and provide support afterwards if needed. And the tornado warning is in effect in the state, according to the U.S. Weather Agency. A weather classified as Category 1 hurricane before being downgraded to a tropical storm. ISIS claimed one victim last week in the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico, a 56-year-old woman whose vehicle was washed out of the water. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks uh, for watching us.